Hey guys, Technomentary here with a video for you guys. Today we're going to be discussing about how to check if an iPhone is jailbroken. So in this video, we're going to talk about what is jailbreaking an iPhone means and how do you check it and why it might be good or bad for your device. And if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also in my hand, as you can see, I have the new iPhone 12 Pro and Gold Edition that we recently did an unboxing for. If you guys are looking to buy a cheap iPhone, make sure you guys check out the link in the description that we'll be providing. So let's talk about what is jailbroken iPhone or what is a jailbreak. So what jailbreaking iPhone means is that it's using third-party software to allow it to bypass Apple's intended restriction and iOS updates that it allows you to download apps that are not available on the app store. So these apps might be rogue apps that are modified to have free version of a software generally that you pay for, something like that. It allows you to do customization with backgrounds, maybe different things that you normally, Apple iOS doesn't allow you to do because of um, purposes that could damage the phone software itself. Some people do it to enhance their iOS experience because, you know, with iOS, it's very restrictive in terms of what you can and can't do. Depends on apps that you can download, any kind of modification that you want to do. Well, what I, it might be bad is because, because now you have opened up your iOS to external third-party software and such, you might get malware, spyware, or potential hardware issue, and Apple will not be able to help you if a phone is jailbroken. So when you jailbreak an uh, Apple device, or if you're buying one that's jailbroken, chances are Apple will not help you because you they, mo they know that you have modified outside their legal agreement that you signed whenever you were using an Apple phone and they can't really do much to help you. That's usually the fallback. So if you like to make modifications and such, of course, the uh, 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 jailbroken iPhone might be good for you, but when you're looking to get it fixed by Apple, they won't be able to help you because the phone's original intended use has been modified. So how do you check if a uh, uh, iPhone is modified to have been jailbroken? There's, called, there's a couple ways to check this. The first way is this popular app called Cydia that is installed. Cydia, as you can see, this brown box kind of package. If you click on that, if you see that app is downloaded on your on your phone, you'll see it says it's downloaded. It'll come up as an app here. But as you can see, this phone is in jailbroken, so it's not there. We can go to this Wiki, Wikipedia page where it tells you what Cydia is for um, a package manager essentially for jailbroken iOS. You'll see that installed on the device. And the thing about this is that once an iPhone is jailbroken, it's pretty much uh, hard to redo that. So you'll see that app install and that app itself will be deleted. If you click on it with the general app, you can remove any app here simply by clicking on it. But the City app itself will not be deleted that way. It needs a special way to be deleted, to undo the jailbroking, which is pretty complicated. And most people that jailbroke it don't know how to undo that. So you'll see that. So that's the tip off is that if you have this City app installed on it. Another thing you can check is going into settings. And then in general, if you go down here, we don't have it here, but you'll see this one where it says trusted or third party a install software will be listed here that are not trusted by the OS itself. That's another tip to determine if a iPhone has been jailbroken. Another thing you can do to check if a Apple iPhone or iPhone device has been jailbroken is actually using a tool called 3U Tools. There's a couple of tools out there that does it, but as you can see, um, here I have a screenshot of that itself here. What you're going to do is once you install this, it's free to install it. You go to 3u.com or just Google search it. It's a free install that only works for Windows. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for MacBooks. So here I just have a MacBook pulled up with the screen that you're going to see. You're going to connect it to your 
your PC, of course, and then you'll see this option where it says jailbroken and it'll either say yes or no. So that will indicate if the phone has been jailbroken. Unfortunately, we don't have another way of checking using the serial number or the IME number if you're looking to buy a used device online. Most of the time, if you're buying a used device, they'll list it if it is jailbroken or not already there. But these are the ways to check it. You can use the iPhone or use a tool to check it um, in 2020. Of course, there used to be other ways in the past. Um, there might be apps out there that can check it, but these are the two of the ways that we can check if a iPhone is jailbroken or not. If you guys have any other ways to do it, make sure you guys leave it in the comment section in the comment section of how you go checking if uh, iPhone is jailbroken or not. Hopefully this video was helpful for anyone looking to understand what jailbroke again iPhone means and how to check for it and if it's good or bad for your iPhone or not. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.